Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Philomena, I'm one of the game designers of Nimbatus and I'm going to give you a quick intro. But first of all, we are on Kickstarter right now and we would greatly appreciate your support if you like the game. And we also greatly appreciate any kind of feedback that you have that you can post in our forum. Okay, let's go. So we will create a new save game now. Heading into a freshly generated galaxy. So we're starting off on the overview map and the first thing we want to do is visit this little planet called Kwumi. So let's go there. And now we want to send a drone there. So we actually have to create one. So we start off with that. Here is the core of our drone. This is where we will attach all our parts. And first off, we want to add some thrusters. So we attach them to our drone. You can see that they are automatically assigned a keyboard input. So we will add another. And another. But in order for our drone to fly, we will also need some fuel tanks, so we'll attach them as well. Here you go, you can turn it with your mouse wheel. Let's put them there. And now we're going off into the test drive. So as you can see, thanks to the automatically assigned keys, we can now move around. But the problem is we are super not prepared to defeat these enemies, so they are certainly quickly going to defeat us, yes. So we're heading back into the editor now and what we will need are some weapons. So here you can see a broad range of weapons. They all have their different abilities and traits, different ammunition, and we will add some of them so you can see how they work. So let's put some of them there, some of them there. Yeah, you can also attach drone parts to other drone parts by uh, drag and drop and then you click on them to attach. And in order to, for our weapons to function, we will need some energy. So we're attaching that as well, turning it a bit, putting it there so it's well protected from the enemies. There's a smaller pack as well, and another one. Now we're going into the test drive again. You can see we have some weapons that are just directly shooting forward, some lasers, and also some weapons that are pointed at our mouse cursor, so we can really aim at the opponent. But still, we are a bit weak, so let's go ahead and attach some shields. They are here. So we are protected from the enemy attack. We have to assign a key to them. We'll use right mouse click for that. Perfect. I think we have enough energy for that. Let's head right in here. You can see the shield that we can generate. So where are you, you bastards? There you are. Our shields will probably protect us, but the problem is we already run out of energy and need some time to reload. So yeah, I think... Anyway, let's try. It's pr probably not perfect yet, but we will try and go ahead with this drone and launch it onto the planet. This is our mothership, the Nimbatus. This is where we are actually launched from. So we are now checking out what kinds of missions we have on this planet, it would be to destroy a transmitter and to destroy some of these beehives. But, oh, you can see this is going to be <laughs> problematic. We're giving it our best here, we're giving it our best. <laughs> but it didn't work out. Well, at this point you would go back into the drone editor, attach some more weapons, improve your design, as we're doing right now. But for now we also want to show you a bit of what the game world looks like. So we're going out of the planet, looking at the galaxy again, and if you zoom out, you can see that this thing is actually really, really huge. It's all procedurally generated, so each time you play it will be completely different. And there are some locations we want you to see. So for example, there's the battle arena, where you can go into and try to beat your friend's high score. Unfortunately, this is not yet really functional because you are now playing a demo that is probably not on Steam. But if you are playing on Steam, you can try that out. So we go ahead and launch into the arena and see if we can break the record. So the enemies will come in different waves and each wave will be stronger, so you need to see how far you can get. I think our drone, once again, <laughs> has the problem. 
<laughs> not having enough energy, so right now we're really struggling here. Hope you will do better. <laughs> Other places you can visit in the game are the sumo training arena. So when you visit the sumo arena you can have drones fighting against each other, you can select a drone. But here you are not allowed to actually control your drone yourself, also it's not allowed to have any weapons. Here you have to build fully autonomous drones that can steer themselves and try to push out the opponent or try to evade the opponent. So we're building one of those real quick. So here you can see we have a lot of these logic and sensor parts where you can basically attach commands to them and then let them do their own thing. So we'll let's, let's just take these two drones that we just built and have a battle. And it starts and they're pushing each other and yeah, that was pretty much of a <laughs> close call. <laughs> but you can come up with really crazy things here and try to really do sneaky stuff that your opponent cannot foresee. So let's try another approach here. A drone that is better at pushing stuff. Attach some logic parts to it. Don't forget to add some fuel. There you go. Now we can have those two fight against each other. Who are you betting on? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so our new design won. That's great. You can come up with way more crazy stuff like that and I hope you will enjoy trying this stuff out. You can also visit the scrapyard where you can discard some weapons that you have found uh, along the way on the missions but you will see how that goes while you play. I think that concludes the short intro for now. I hope you have fun and please send us over all the things you create, send us your crazy drone designs, we can't wait to see them. Thank you.